We we'll begin today the Gemara on Daf Chav Vav Amit Beis, three lines from the bottom of the Amud. The Gemara before is discussing the Kenyan of Agav, and that's a Kenyan when you acquire a Karka property, so along with it you could be kind of metal tlin, movable items. The Shail of the Gemara was, do the movables have to be tziburim, piled up on the actual Karka itself, or they can be in any place, and together with the Kenyan of the Karka, you will acquire the metal tlin as well. So the Gemara brought, tried to bring different rayas. The Gemara is going to continue to bring rayas to this shaila. Toshema, Maise, Rabbi Gamliel. So here in the Mishnah it says a story about Rabbi Gamliel who was a Kenim, and other ones of the Tanoim, the elders, Shoyuboyim Bisfina. They were traveling together on a boat. So Rashi's Pshat this Gemara is that Rabbi Gamliel is here with his Kenim on the boat and he realizes that from the produce that he left in his house, he didn't give properly the trumas and maestras. So Amulem Rabbi Gamliel is a Kainim. So Rabbi Gamliel says to the Kainim that are there with him on the boat, as follows, that he wants to now separate the maestras. So Isur Sha'ani Osid Lomud. The maestr that I am measuring and I'm going to be designating, Nosuloi Li Yeshua should be granted to Yeshua, and Rashi, he brings the sources from different places that you find that Yeshua was a Levi. This is Rabbi Yeshua ben Hanania. And so therefore he's giving him my Serishin. And Taisus over here points out, even though there was a Knas, that uh, the my Serishin, that it should not be given to the Levian, but nevertheless, Rabbi Yeshua ben Hanania was poor, and therefore he could get the, the, the my Serishin. And and then he added the space where this produce of Maise that I'm designating for him is, should be rented to him. Now, how did this rental take place? So Rashi says, the pshat over here is, that this was done with Kenyan Agav, that Rabbi Shur Mechananye gave him a pruta to rent this space. So he was kind of that space as a rental for him. And now, together with this rental of the space, the metaltal and the, the Maise that is there, he was in it as well. That's the way it was done. The Shainim discuss how Rashi, or how, 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 how does the Gemara know that this is Kenyan Agav? Why wouldn't you just say that this is a Kenyan of Chatzar, that you're acquiring something which is in your domain? And over here, if he's renting him the space, so whatever's in it, you should be Kaina. And the answer the Rishayim say is that by Kenyan Chatzar, it has to be a Chatzar Mishtameres. It has to be a place which is guarded. Or if not, you have to at least be standing there. And they're not there, Bechlal, they're not present. So therefore, the only way this Kenyan can work is Kenyan Agav. And then he said, the Isr Acher, Shani Asad Lamud, other maestres that I'm going to designate, Nasan Loy La Kiva Ben Yasef. So this will be given to Rabbi Kiva that was with him. Kadesh Yiska Bay Laniam. Rabbi Kiva was the Gabai for the Anim, he'll be Zaikh in this for the Anim. And again, Makoimai, the space where the maestres are, Muskalai is rented to him through the through they gave him a pruta and then the Kenyan of Agav. So Rashi here just adds, when you get to the pshat of this maestres, that this is what's called Kriya's shame. He designated these maestres to be maestres, and now the people that are in his house are able to eat from the produce and it won't be called tevel. He was concerned that the people that are still back in his house may eat from the produce and the maestres were not separated. So therefore, if you eat tevel, you chayev misa. Once he separates, not separates, once he designates it to be maestres, so then it's not tevel anymore, it's not untithed produce. And then when he comes home, he has to go ahead and separate it. Okay, that's the, the story over here in this Gemara, according to Rashi's Pshat. Now, Taisus here, there's a very long Taisus here, but just one Akudah. Taisus argues with Rashi, and he has, asks many questions on Rashi about this Pshat. One of the questions Taisus asks is, how would Rabbi Gamliel forget to give Maishas before he left his home? There's a Chazaka, a Chavr, she'enem moitzim mitachas yadim dov, she'enem mesukin. A Chavr, a person like Rabbi Gamliel, left his home and he didn't give the Maishas. What is this? How could it be? This is asks uh, other questions as well. And Ben Tam says that this is talking about something else. It's the he separated the maestres, but this is referring to the mitzvah of beer maestres. When it comes once in three years, and those maestres that you separated, and you have to get them out of the home. That has to be, you have to be mevayered. And this is what he was saying. He wanted it out of his possession to be able to be mevayer. And therefore, he says that this will be given to Yeshua, this Rabbi Kiva, that it should be. Uh, Taken out of his house. That's uh, how Taisus learns this Gemara. The Gemara now proves from this. Shmami no, what do we see from here? That when you make the king of Agav, the metaltalin has to be piled up in the 
place in the karka it's, itself, because the lotion here in this Mishnah was on Mekoi Moi, that space where he where the produce of the Maestris was is Muskeloi. He didn't just give them any mokim, any space, and along with it, these Maestris. That space where it's on. Answers the Gemara, Shani Hasam over there, it's different. Kehechi de Loyle Trechino. He didn't do it necessarily because the halacha is that that's the only way they can be kainet. He just did it this way so that they should not have the Tircha that when they come back, they should immediately have to remove it from where it is because it's not their space. No, no, he's telling them, no, I'm renting you that space. You can keep it there until you come and when it's convenient for you to take it from there. Toshima, the Gemara says, let's bring another concept, ayah. So the whole concept oh. of, the, I mean, the chilu between Agav and, 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 uh, and Chatzor is if it's Mishtameris or not. Yeah, that's what it comes out. The Kenyan Agav, it doesn't have to be a Chatzor Mishtameris. That's one, yeah. I mean, the Kenyan works in a different way. It's a completely different type of Kenyan, but... Uh, so it's not shy as Agav by Mishtameris. You don't need it. You, you could, but you don't need it. Indeed. Correct. Well, it could be kind of with Kenyan Agav without uh, the Kenyan of Chatzar. It depends how the Kenyan is done. Toshama the Omarave by Yitzchak Omarav. Shnei Shtare saying there are two halachis that were said regarding a person that's selling a property with a star. If he said as follows, Zachu misad the Zula Plaini. He tells someone here, be zeiche, be kaine in this field for so and so. So he's going to go and be machzik in the property, make a king of chazake in the property for, for a person. And then he says, vikis vuloi es ashtar. Write for him also a star that will be a raya that he brought, bought this property. So then in such a case, chayzer b'shtar. So before the star is written or before it's given to him, he could retract from giving him this star. But vein a chayzer b'sada. The kenyan of the property can't be chayzer because... The Kenyan was done already, and it's a separate thing from the Shtar, and therefore the Kenyan is, is, is complete. What's, what's the Shtar for? As a raya, as a raya that he bought this Sada. But if he says, Al Menas, Shatikhtu Vulay is a Shtar, if he says that it, with the condition that he's being Zaycha in the Sada, with the condition that you write a Shtar, so then he's basically saying he doesn't want that. There should be any Kenyan over here unless there's a, there's a shtar. So in such a case, chayzer bein b'shtar bein b'sada. So you can be chayzer both from the shtar or from the sada. Taisus over here explains when it said in the first case that it can be chayzer from the shtar. If the Kenyan is anyways done, what's the relevance of being chayzer from the shtar? Taisus says he can decide and say, I'm not giving you any document as a proof for this. I'm not giving you the deed of his property. And the reason is he doesn't want people to know that he was forced to sell his property, it doesn't look good. So he can be chayzer from this that he said, I'm going to give you a shtar. That's in the first case. But over here, when he said clearly that the whole Kenyan of the Sada is based on the, me writing you and giving you the shtar, so until he doesn't give the shtar, he can be chayzer from the entire sale. That's two halachas that he said regarding the shtar. Now, but Rav Chiyeh, but Oven Omar, Rav Hone, Shloish is saying, there's three halachas that can be said about shtar. Today, Hada Maran, two halachas that we just said, and Idoch, a third halacha, is as follows. Im Kodam Moiche, the cost of Loyas Ashtar, if a Moiche, a seller, goes ahead and writes a star that he's selling this property to someone, when, when the buyer is not even there yet. As it says in the Mishnah, you can write a star for a sale, for a Moiche, even if the Lekeach is not there. And from then, when you write the star, the date of the star, so later, when you're going to make a Kenyan, so retroactively, the Kenyan is going to go back to that date. That's what Ashi over here brings from the Gemara and Bab Metziah. There's a lacha called Eidav Bachasum of Zachanloi, the signatures of the Edom on whatever date the star was written on. That's the date of what the, when the Kenyan goes back to. So, but it was written without, it was a written lachat chilin without the lekeach there, without the buyer there. So, Kivin Shehichsik, Imoi Bekarka, Nikne Star, Bachalmakim Shuhu. I got the word imoy over here, so according to some gerses. But the point is, once you make the chazake in the karka, now the lekech comes along and he makes a kenyan in the karka. So along with the karka, he can be kaina that star that was already written in advance, a time before. Basically, what this case of hichzik the karka nik star is the kenyan of agav. He's going to make now a kenyan chazake in the karka, but he also wants to have this star as a proof for this karka that he just acquired. So the karka, the star is not here. It was written in a different time period and it's not here. But he, he makes the Kenyan on the karka and along with it, he's kind of the star and the b'raise, or this halacha here, it's not a b'raise, it's a, it says clearly that it's b'chol mokim shuhu. Wherever it is, it'll be kind of the star together with the karka. Star means a Kenyan. 
Ah, uh, again? He's a Kenyan. It's, it's a piece of paper. There. Yeah, no, but he, yeah, he has to have a Kenyan on it. I mean, uh, if, he wants, if he wants to be kind of the star, then it should be his. Yeah, it does need a Kenyan. Huh? If not, if not, then the, the star is not his, then the, the, the Moiche could say, I'm keeping the star for myself and I'm not giving it to you. The Moiche wrote it. He never made an agreement with the uh, Likeach that he's going to be giving him a star, right? In the previous two cases, it spoke about where he's giving the star to the Likeach. Could he retract and decide he's not going to give him a star over here? The Moiche wrote it uh, a few weeks before for himself. And then later, when the Likeach comes along, the Likeach makes a Kenyan in the Karku with Chazoke. So now, how is he Zeichen in the star? But if he, when he makes the Kenyan in the Karka, he's going to be Zeich with Kenyan Agav in this star. But it said here, Bechol Mokim Shehu, wherever this star is. It says the Gemara, Shema no. so from this we can learn out, Loi Bin in that we don't need the star to be here, present together with the Karka, inside the Karka. And it says the Gemara, you can't prove from this case, because Shani star, star is different, Dav Siridarahu. The star is like the leash, or like the halter of the field itself, because the star says in it, the, that the, the raya, the kinyan, that the moich is saying, I'm selling this karka to you. So therefore the kinyan on the karka brings along the kinyan for the raya of this wholesale without it even being present on the karka. But not necessarily could you say that regarding any metaltalin if it's not present on the karka itself. But the Gemara says, you can't give such an answer because v'aloh katani, on this it says clearly, zu hi sheshaninu, this is what we learned regarding this uh, halacha here, of kaisu and the shtar, and lekech is not with him. And then it was explained that you can be kind of the star wherever it is. That zuhi shishaninu nechasem she'ela machrayis. That when you're kind of movable items which don't serve as any responsibility for anything, niknin im nechasem she'esh la machrayis. It can be acquired the kinyan of agav together with karka, the kesef b'shtar b'chazaka. When you make any of the, these three kinyanim in the karka itself, so you see that it says this. This is the halacha of agav. This is not a, a unique halacha regarding the star because it's the afser. It's the raya of the karka. This is the general din of Aga. And it said clearly, Bechol Mokim Shehu. Shema no. So this is the proof that Loi Be'inan Tziburim Ba. The Kenyan of Aga, the Metalklan that you kind of with the Karka, does not have to be piled up in the Karka itself. Shema no. This is a clear Raya. So a star could be kind of another star. If one star could be kind of another star. That's what it's saying. Huh? That's what the the saying. Karka, the Kenyan of the Karka. You make a Chazaka no, on the Karka, and that's kind of the star with it. Huh? Again? That's a star. No, no, they're niknin together with Nechassim Sheyesh Lamachrais. And one star can't be kind of another star, no. It's talking about the Karka, which is Nechassim Sheyesh Lamachrais, that acquires the Nechassim Sheyesh Lamachrais, which in this case was the star or any other metaltalin. Yibayi Lohu, the Gemara has another shayla regarding the Kenyan of Agav. Mi ba'inan Agav, oiloi. When you make this Kenyan and you want the Kenyan to bring along with it also a Kenyan for other metaltalin, do you have to spell out clearly this word, Agav, that I, I want this Kenyan to also, Agav, to include other things? Or you don't have to spell it out clearly. Toshama, bring your raya from many of the cases that we brought, brought before. The Ketoni, Kolhani. We brought different braises, Mishnayis, that speak about situations where they use the Kenyan of Agav. Veloi Ketoni Agav. And in all these cases brought in the previous Amit, it did not ever mention that the Kenyan is made when you say the word Agav. So the Gemara says, now if that's your raya, kani mikatani. In any of these braces, does it say clearly that he was spelling out and he said kni, or that's right, kni that you should be kind of something else with it. You can't just be kind of metaltalin on along with the karka without spelling out clearly kni that you're going to be kind of other things. But it didn't spell out that lush in any of those braces either. So elo adam kni. But you have to say that you're going to be kind of the other metaltalin along with it. It wasn't spelled out clearly, but it's obvious. So too you could say that you must say Agav, even though I didn't spell it out. But the Gemara concludes, that it's not necessary for it to be piled up in the Karka, but Agav okni ba'inon. But it is necessary to spell out when you make a Kenyan and you want the Metaltlan to come along, you have to spell out Agav, and you have to say Kni. Some Rishayim say that when this halacha that you have to say Agav and Kni is only if it's not Siburim. Metaltlin that's somewhere else, so then you have to clearly spell out. But if it's Tziburim, so then it's here in the Karka. So then it's not necessarily to say Agav Akni. Another Shiloh was asked about the king of Agav. Sode b'mecher. You're selling a piece of property. And the Metaltlin you're giving as a gift. 
So Mahu, over here, could, could it come along Agav, the Karka, as well or not? It's different, it's not exactly going along as a sale together, this is a gift. Toshema, so the Gemara says, we can bring a Raya from the case that we mentioned before. Isur Shani Osod Lomud, the Maise that I'm designating, Nosun Lo Yeshua, so Rabbi Gamliel said that he's giving it to Yeshua, Umekoyme Muskeloi, and that space will be rented to him. So the, the actual Karka was a rental, which is a mode of a sale, sort of. And the, the Maisris is giving him as a gift on that space. So Shema Aminah, from here we see that the Metaltlin, in this case the Maiser, comes along with the Kenyan of the Karka. Yibayilohu, another Shailah was asked about the Kenyan of Aga. Sodele Echad, you're selling a property to one person. Umetaltlin Acher, and you're selling, and you want the Metaltlin to be acquired to someone else. Mah, what's the Allah? Could the Kenyan of Agav, of the Karka of one, work to bring along a Kenyan of Metaltlin to someone else? The Lashon that the Rishonim use regarding this Shaila and really also regarding other Shailas here is that the Kenyan of Agav is a Kenyan Garua because you're not making an actual Kenyan in the Metaltalin itself so therefore the Gemara has all these kinds of Shailas to what extent this Kenyan Agav could work. So again the Gemara says Tosh Shema, let's bring a Raya from the Braise that we brought before regarding the Maestres that Rabbi Gamil separated Isr Shani Asad Lamud so Rabbi Gamil said here the Maestres Ani that I'm designating Nasun la Akiva ben Yosef will be given to Akiva ben Yosef, Kedeshi Yiska la Aniyim, and he will merit in these Maisa Ani for the poor people. And the space here is rented to him, to Akiva ben Yosef. So here you see that the space he's giving to Rabbi Akiva, and the Metaltal and the Maestres is going for the poor people. Says the Gemara, my musker, musker le meiser. What it's saying here is not that it's musker, not that he's renting the space to Rabbi Kiva. It's rented for the ani and for the purpose of this meiser. So it's all to one, to one, one people, not not to not to Rabbi Kiva. or you could say shani Rabbi Kiva, the yad aniim have. Rabbi Gamliel is Rabbi Akiva, that is is different. He was the gabai tzedakah of the aniim, so his hand is mamish like the hand of the aniim itself. So therefore, the Kenyan Agav for the Aniyim will work here. But Stam, to sell something to one person, a Karka, and then the Metaltlin to someone completely different, maybe it doesn't work. So here the Gemara doesn't resolve this Shaila. Omar Rav, Rav said another halacha regarding Kenyan Agav, Loi Shonu. We didn't learn this whole halacha, that the Kenyan of a Karka works also for the Metaltlin, Ela Shonos and the Only if he paid for the value of all these Metaltlin that he's acquiring. If he didn't pay for all of it, then he's not going to be kind of connected myself. He's only going to be kind of from the metaltlin for whatever he paid for. If he paid for half, he'll be kind of half. When he pays for the rest, he'll be kind of the rest. So again, the Rishayinim say, because it's a Kenyan Garua, usually by a Kenyan, the payment is separate from the actual Kenyan. You make the Kenyan, then the payment can come later. But over here, the, the, by Agav, you're not kind of until you make the actual, until you make the payment. We learned in Abraise that we could prove what Rav said, because Abraise here contrasts the three Kenyonim of Kesef, Shtar, and Chazoke. And it starts like this. We see that there's more of a power to the Kenyon of Kesef, more than the Kenyon of Shtar. And on the other hand, there's something that's better with the Kenyon of Shtar than the Kenyon of Kesef. The Kenyan of Kesef is used when you want to redeem Hektish or you want to redeem Maisasheni. And the only Kesef is used, not any, any other mode. As Rashi here brings, by Hektish it says, Venosna Kesef Akomloi, and by Maisasheni it says, Vitsarta Kesef, which is Tafke Matbeya and not anything else. Mashenkin Bishtar, you can't redeem with Shtar. Yofe Koyach Shtar, on the other hand, we find that Shtar works in a place where Kesef does not. Shashtar Moitzi Bebas Yisro. A Shtar is Moitzi Bebas Yisro, a get for Isha. To be, to, to be released. Mashenkin be Kesef. You can't free her with Kesef. Aviyof e koyach shnei me koyach hazoke. Kesef and Shtar have an advantage over the Kenyan of Chazoke. And the koyach hazoke me koyach shnei. And Chazoke has an advantage over these two. Yof e koyach shnei me shnei me koyinim be'avadivri. Kesef and Shtar is a Kenyan that works when you want to acquire an avadivri. And Chazoke does not work there. Mashenkin be Chazoke. Yof e koyach hazoke. On the other hand, Chazoke has a power. Shechazake, the halacha by Chazake is as follows. Machaloi esa sodis, be esa medinis. If you sell a person 10 different properties that could even be in 10 different countries in the world, kivin shehichsik, ba'achas mehem, when you make a chazake in just one of these properties, konam kulam. You can acquire with that one Kenyan all the other properties that are in different places. 
Abamet the Vara Mamurim, so here the Brisa says regarding these different properties that you kind of with one Kenyan, that's only Shinosan Loi to make Kulan. If you paid for all of the properties that you want to acquire here. So Rashi here explains that because these other properties, you're not making a Kenyan in them and they're in other places, so unless you're actually going to pay for all the other properties, the seller is not Soy Mechdas, he's not interested in selling you everything because they're not even here. So similar, the Gemara is learning out from here, just like regarding one property, a Kenyan in this can be a Kenyan to be kind of other properties in other places, but you have to pay for everything, the same as with the Minigay to Kenyan Agav, that if you're kind of metaltalin along with the Karka, so the metaltalin is also not here, and it's not connected to the Karka, you're also going to be kind of only if you pay for all of it. Rashi shit over here is that this halacha regarding the karka is if the other karkois that you're acquiring with the kenyan of this karka are in different medinas, in different places. Then you have to pay for all of it to be kaina. But if it's like one piece of land and it's near each other, even though it's different properties, <coughs> you can be kaina all of it at once without paying for all of it. If you didn't pay for all of it, you're not kaina. Elo, connect myself, you only kaina what you paid for. Agmar says, Mesayele le Shmuel, what it says in this Brai said, proves what Shmuel said. Shmuel said the same Allah, the Oma Shmuel, Machaloi Esa Sadis, Besa Medina, you're selling someone 10 properties that are in 10 different countries. Kivin Shehichzik, Bachas Mehan, when you made a Kenya Chazak in one of them, Kon Eskulon. You're going to be kind of other properties as well, along with it. Now, on this, Halacha, Omer Ravacha Berei de Ravike, Sravacha Berei de Ravike said, I can prove this to you, Teida. Because she'ilu masaloi esa behemis ba'af echad. If you're giving a person, if you're selling a person ten animals that are tied to each other with one afser, with one halter, and you give him over a mesira, you give him over this one halter to be kaina va'amale kini that you should be kaina with taking this one afser from one animal. So you, so you then he'll be milay kani. Is he not going to be kaina all the other ten animals that are tied together to this one animal? So, so too, by the karkois, you make a kenya chazake on one karka, and you'll be kaina all the other karkois. That's the comparison that he made. But Amalei, so he said, you can't compare it to this. Midami, that's not the same thing. Hasam igude biyade. Over there, he's holding this halter in his hand, and it's connecting, all the animals are connected to this. So you kaina all of them. Hacha eni igude biyade. Over here, you have one piece of karka here, another piece of karka, and another medina and ten karkais in different places, to be kind of one Kenyan and one karka, the, not necessarily is it kind of all the other karkais. This is one version of the, what he said. Ikidamri, but now there's another version that said as follows. Omer avache berei deravike, teida deloikani, I'll prove to you that this halacha that Shmuel said is not true. That when you make a Kenyan on one karka, you're not going to be kind of other karkais in other places. Because ilum, osaloi, esa behemis, ba'af serechat. If you give over to a person, ten behemis, and there is one officer, one halter that they're all connected to. Va'amaloi, and he tells him, zu kini. When he gives him over the halter of the first animal, that one animal, he says, be kind of this. Me, kani, will he be kind of all of them? So what he meant to ask, Rashi explains, just like over here, when he tells him, zu kini, so that means only this one and not the other ones. So too over here, even though he didn't necessarily say zukni, but the other properties are not together. They're not here. So, so how could you be kind of all the other properties together with uh, this property that you made a Kenyan on? So the Gemara says in this version that he answered and said, no, midami, you can't compare it to this example where he, where he says zukni because hasam gufu muchlokim. By the animals, even if they're tied together, but they're separate bodies. So when he says zukni, so you kind of this one and not the other animals. Over here, the reason why if you kind of one property, you kind of the other properties that this person owns and wants to sell you is because the whole mass of land is really all one continuation. So you make a Kenyan here, so you can be kind of other, other properties in other places in the world. Now the Gemara goes back to the Mishnah, where it said, that by a Shavua, the halacha is that you don't make a Shavua on, on Karka. You only make a Shavua on Metaltalin, on movable items. But once you're making a Shavua on Metaltalin, so then there's a concept called Gilgul Shavua. We roll this Shavua onto Karka as well, that'll make a Shavua on Karka too. So now Omaole Ole said, what's the source of this? Minayin le Gilgul Shvua Where do you see this concept of Gilgul Shvua? Which means you're chayiv in a Shvua on one thing. 
You're not chayav a on something else. But once you make a shvua on this, we obligate you to make a shvua on other things as well. Shanama, the Pasuk says, by a saita. So over there, the saita, before she drinks the water, so the kayan has to take an oath that uh, that uh, she did not uh, do an aveda and then to accept upon her <coughs> the curse that what, that's going to happen through drinking these waters. And over there, it says that the, the, the isha accepts the shvua, va amra isha, amen, amen. She responds, amen, amen. The Pasuk uses a double lashon. So what's this double lashon of amen, amen? Tanaam, we learned, namish on this. What's this double lashon of Amin Amin? Amin al ha'ala. She's saying Amin to accept the curse that will come. Amin al ha'shvua. Amin also regarding the shvua that she says that uh, that she's saying that she did not become Tomei. Amin imi ishzeh. Amin if she had a, a, another relation with someone else when she's married here to this man. Amen. Im ish acher. Amen. To say also that this will also be by the cur if she had a relation with someone else when she was married to someone else. Amen. Shalei setisi arusa. Amen. That I did not stray when I was still an arusa, which is the point that we're going to talk about here. Meaning when when the first stage of marriage before she was fully married to this husband, and also unusua when she was after she's fully married to him, and shemeres yavam uknusa. Or if they're speaking about a Yavim here, when she was still anticipating the Yibum, or after Knusa, after he brought her in, when he was Miyabim her. So, so Rashi here says the term Knusa is used by Shemeris Yavim because she's waiting for the Yibum, and there by Yibum, the, the title uses the expression, that she's waiting, she can't go out, and she's sort of stuck, and now Knusa, he brings her in to marry her. That's the term that it says by Shemeris Yavim. Okay, so now in this Mishnah, one of the details it says over here is that part of the drinking of the water to be to be Baidikar was whether she had a relation with someone when she was an Arusa. Now, how does that work? It says the Gemara, Hi, Arusa, Echidami. She's drinking waters and she's also saying that I did not have a relation with someone when I was an Arusa. What is this talking about? If the case here is, as it works by a Saita, the husband first has to warn her. So did he warn her when she was an Arusa not to go with this man? The Kamashkila, Keshe Arusa. And also he's given to her to drink these waters when he is still just in the first stage of marriage with her. She's still an Arusa. But that can't be because what Nan, the Mishnah says, Arusa, Shemeres Yavam, Leishay says, Fuleinaitlis Ksuba. By an Arusa or a Shemeres Yavam, she's anticipating the Yibum and they're not fully married yet. So there is no uh, mitzvah. There is the. the, the, the Drinking the waters of the Saita does not apply yet. So she doesn't drink the waters of the Saita, but she also cannot get a Ksuba either because after he warned her and then she went with this man, so then she gets divorced and she does not get a Ksuba. But there is no drinking waters of the Saita. My time at Tachasi Sheikh Rahmana. The whole mitzvah of drinking the waters of the Saita is only when she's already Tachasi Sheikh, fully married. Veleke, she's not married yet. So Ella, you're going to have to say the case of here is the Kanid Lakashi Arusa. He warned her before when she was an Arusa. Venistara Kishi Arusa. And she also was secluded with this man when she was an Arusa. But the Kamashkila Kishi Nisua. But the husband is giving her to drink these waters after he fully married her. And now he wants her to also make a Shvua about what happened before in the first stage of marriage by Edison. But the question is, Mi Botkila Maya. Would the waters work over here? Why not? Because the Pasik says, that the man, the husband, is clean from any Aveda. What does this mean? If the man is clean from the husband, that is, is clean from Aveda, the waters of the Saita works. Otherwise, it does not work. Now, what this means is, after his wife went and was secluded with this man, the husband himself may not live with his wife anymore. If he does go and lives with his wife after the story of the Saita, the waters of the Saita don't work. So over here, he warned her. And she went and was secluded with a man at the time of Edison. Then he went and married her. And now he lived with her. So if, that's what the Nisuin is, that he lives with her. So after the Nisuin, the waters of the Saita can't work anymore. Now Rashi points out and says, you could argue, the Gemara there in, in Yavamis and on other places argues and says, well, you could claim that he brought her into Chuppah, which creates the full marriage, but he never lived with her. But the Gemara says that it still won't work because the Halacha by Saita is, Kodma Shchivas Baal 
Mibalada Ishech means that the, in the mid Saita only works if the husband had a relation with her first, and then later she strayed and she went and so was secluded with another man. So either way, this this, this can't seemingly it can't work. Huh? It was. If, the, if it was Aidei Bia, so Rashi here actually brings that the Gemara in Yavama is there, it does say, uh, a little bit different, that Baalei Oros Peves that it is possible that he had a relation with her before, but there was no Nisun yet. So there is a way how to explain this case. But Rashi says the Gemara over here doesn't hold of that, that's not the usual thing. And so over here, Ula, which is explaining over here, does not hold of this. So we're stuck over here, we're trying to figure out how could it be possible that the waters of the Saita could be Baidik, for this case where she was an Arusa. So Ella, this is the source of Gilgul Shvua, a Yidei Gilgul, which means that really she's making a Shvua for this, that she became a Saita after he married her, and the, after the Nisuin, and the waters of the Saita works for that. And then once she's making a Shvua for this, for the she was an Asua, it were Magalgal, we roll and, and include in the Shvua also Edison and other things as well. This is the source of Gilgul Shvua, Benigayat Tasaita. And the same applies also regarding any Shvua. On a money matter, there's actually a discussion in the Rishonim regarding this concept of Gilgul Shvua, because by the by the Saita it sounds like this is an automatic thing. When the Kain has her make the Shvua, the Pasuk says she answers Amen Amen. This will include to her accepting a Shvua that she did not ever go with a man and metama herself regarding anything, and automatically. By money matters though, some Rishonim say it's not you're not going to automatically have the person make a Shvua about any other money in any other situations. It's only if the man demands it. Person says, "I want when you're making a shvua about this. I want you to make a shvua about other things as well." So it's not exactly the same. Okay, we'll see the continuation. It's the middle of India. We'll see next time.